Okay, in this video, we're going to go over how to add an SVG editor file, an SVG animation to your Squarespace website using a code block. So to get started, we're going to go ahead and head over to SVG editor and grab our animation. Um, what you're going to see here is I have just a very simple animation. Um, it's not very long. It stops at six seconds. And you'll see that I currently have it set to an infinite loop, meaning it's going to repeat endlessly once I've added that to my website. Um, I'm gonna click the export option here. I'm gonna just go through these settings as well. And I'm actually gonna select JavaScript as the animation type. I'm gonna make sure that it's set to an animated format versus static. Static would mean it just doesn't animate at all. Uh, so keep it to animated JavaScript and I think on this one, I just want it to show up on load. However, if I wanted to, I could tell the animation to actually start after someone's clicked on it or once it's scrolled into view. Uh, select the one that makes the most sense for your website. Uh, again, setting it to an infinite amount of loops as well. And the rest of this looks great. So I'm going to go ahead and just say export. You'll see here that it'll actually uh, download the file in SVG format. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, open this particular file and I'm going to have it open this up using um, either text edit or something that allows me to actually see all of the code. Don't get freaked out. Okay. We don't have to actually touch any of this. We're just going to command a or control a to select everything and just copy it to our clipboard just like that. Let's head over to the website where I'd like to add this animation. In Squarespace, I'm going to click Pages, and I'm going to navigate to the page in which I want to add the animation. Then I'm going to say Edit. And once I'm in Edit mode, I can add a code block right here. Replace the default text of Hello World, just get rid of all of that. And as simple as this, just paste what was on your clipboard and you'll have your animation right here. It might not play right away. You might have to click save for it to show up, um, but let's give this a title here and let's see what that looks like. You can see right here that again, it's not playing because we're uh, in the admin section of the website, but if we come over here to the live version of this page and we click refresh, so let's refresh this page and see what we're looking at. Now we have a functional SVG animation on the page. Let's say we wanted to move this around the page. That's a very large animation. It probably doesn't make sense to be front and center. So we're going to click Edit. And we can actually just move this and manipulate it around the page. Maybe it would make sense to add a little bit of text here and there, maybe a button for later so people could click. Whatever it might be that you're adding, your animation can be over to the side. It can be underneath. You could sandwich it between spacer blocks to really adjust it for different screen sizes. Really, it just depends on what you're going for and how this animation can complement the page. So play with it, click Save, and you'll be able to see your changes on the front end of the website, just like this. That is how you add an SVGator animated SVG file to your Squarespace website. Thanks for watching.